That's a lifestyle. Headbanging is a lifestyle. Damn. Hi everyone, welcome to this video. My name is Adam and I would like to share with you my passion for music. I'll be making videos about different styles, aspects and elements of music. But here's the thing, some people are actually obsessed with music and usually they're also very curious about it. Now what does that mean? Personally, it means that I like searching for new music and sometimes to do so you need to venture far into a known territory. Here's a typical playlist of mine for instance. As you can see, there is so much to discover. My goal through this series will be to give you new musical perspectives. And that's it, really. Alright, in this first episode, we'll be focusing on hardcore music. And when I say hardcore music, many people will think about this. And we'll actually be talking about this. So we're actually talking about heavy metal music. And there are many sub-styles nowadays. But don't worry, for now you won't need to know the difference between progressive trash metal and technical melodic deathcore. So you're fine. <laughs> because today more specifically, we'll be talking about dancing in heavy metal shows. It's probably easier to introduce videos about extreme music this way. So if you're not familiar with this kind of music, just to explain a little bit, dancing in heavy metal is probably not what you think. At the end of this video, you will be able to recognize all the different dance moves and enjoy yourself in any hardcore or heavy metal shows, in case you'd like to expand your musical horizons or in case you got lost. So the first two moves are pretty basic and are not exclusive to metal, I'm talking about headbanging and pogo dancing. These are pretty famous now. Headbanging is just shaking your head on the beat and we all do that, right? Well, not exactly. Headbanging is very serious business in heavy metal. Now there are many headbang moves and variations. And when I was writing this video, I came upon a nice tutorial. Obviously dangerous over time and intensity, so you guys be careful and enjoy safe headbanging. And pogo is basically jumping up and down. Once again, very typical thing to do during a show, right? Pogoing is rather serious as well in metal shows. The more intense and you might get injured if you're not careful. Wikipedia has a beautiful way of describing this phenomenon. Occasionally, dancers collide, but this is not necessarily a part of pogo dancing. And they also mention that when people get injured during shows, they are helped up instead of getting trampled. Which reminds me, you would think that most metalheads will be full of anger, but actually, a study showed that listening to extreme music was making people calmer instead of angrier. Perhaps it's because you need some time to apprehend the music, and also the atmospheres and emotions are different. But at a certain point, you begin to discover a whole new world. And yes, there are metal versions of basically everything you know. To sum it up, pogo dancing in metal shows emerged at the end of the 70s and it was driven by a concept, chaos in motion. Then, it evolved. We're entering a new phase where chaos is indeed in motion but also starts to be organized somehow. And it all starts with a simple request from the band. The frontman would casually ask you to quote unquote open up this f pit, claiming that this is your last f chance to tear down this place. And at this moment, there can only be two possible outcomes. The audience is either requested to run around in the largest possible circles or to split into two halves before slamming into one another. Sounds fun, right? Yeah, totally. Unless you're in the middle of it and not willing to get yourself relatively gently squashed. And because of that, you need to stay focused at all times and be ready for any cues from the band. Let's decrypt what happens in an actual gig. What's this is on, a guys? famous festival, rock metal festival that happens every year, usually in Germany. Like Must be like 
80, 80,000 people. And I want to see who get the okay. biggest goddamn so you can see, go in the back. He's clearly asking front. for people to make actually several circle pits up front and then in the back. And you can see like at the beginning, it's so crowded. You're like, there's no place. But actually, look at this. Oh, they're already starting. It's very quick. Oh, this is going to be fun. And this basically, you would just fun. like put your arms like this and just try and push the, edge, uh, the edges. And that shit. will make the best space for your circle me, place. The one up front here. is so big. Oh my god. And you can jump in whenever you want. Would you jump in? Would you jump in? The singer is so impressed. So these circle pits are probably from the biggest ones there ever been. See what happens is that when the band requests for, for people to make some place to either make some wall of death or circle pits, you also can choose to stand in the middle of it, like to, to gently request for violence to be just rushed upon you. And, and that's what they're doing. They're just hanging around and waiting to be... Well, you'll see, you'll see. Wow. That's amazing. Of course, you can choose to participate or not. And this might feel overwhelming at first shows, but trust me, it's quickly addictive. Now, pogo dancing, circle pits, the previous examples are just variations of a dance style we call moshing or slam dancing. But moshing also means this. This is more individual, a method of personal expression, but still you need to remain conscious of your surroundings. Because while it may very well be dangerous for you and others, the goal is never to hurt or to get hurt. And weirdly, this style became popular, even mainstream. But once again, this is serious business in metal shows. Let's take a look at what are the different motion techniques. Now the thing is, there are proper times for you to use these moves. All right, so basically we have moves with your arms and feet, and these are best for you to use during low tempo breakdowns. Like really the rhythm is broking in half. This is your cue. Classic move, pretty basic, but... <laughs> Look at that dude. Look at that dude. Oh my god. Oh, so threatening. The dude's like... <laughs> there it is again. <laughs> oh. I didn't know that one got a name. Yeah, because it looks like you're trying to start your lawnmower. Then we have some jumps and backflips, and you can do those while uh, preparing for a circle pit or a wall of death, just in the empty crowd. That place is yours. Yeah, that's more like it. And this is why I like it, because at some point it starts to look like capoeira. And also two-step, which is its own thing, and that will happen during more energic phases. What then? Well then it's all about combo. You can even team up sometimes. And crowd surfing and stage diving are just the cherry on the top. The definition is in the name again. Usually, mostly band members would do it, but many scenes actually allow people from the audience, so you can try. And sometimes there's security and you get thrown off the stage. Sucks to be you, dude. That or the band itself will kick your butt. Either way, it's always better to wait for an invitation from the artist than from your guts. Finally, if you intentionally hit the crowd with a mattress or a trash can or whatever, this is called crowd kidding, and you will be hunted down. You know pretty much everything now. Just avoid the epicenter of the pit if you don't want to get hurt during a show, and if you happen to be at the edges of the pit, you just keep your arms and legs as protection and it should suffice. You'll be fine. All that being said, we can now watch some compilations. I used to watch lots of moshing videos, but it is bringing back good memories. And I want you to kill everybody over there. He doesn't mean that. And nobody goes until I say. Hold. Hold. 
hold. And basically it's just a, a battlefield, like two clans slamming onto each other. It's like watching Lord of the Rings. Moving on to the next link. See, now he's crowd killing and people don't like that. Like you, you don't want to be crowd killed. Ooh. High kick right in the mouth. <laughs> Jeez, that was rough. Oh my God. It's so beautiful in a way. Looks like a good show to me. Next link. <laughs> Wedding mush pit. I'm kind of digging it. Okay, the kids are getting into it. <laughs> getting to it! <laughs> Why not? Why not? I'm moving on! I saw this one. It's very good because it shows you all the different moves. They look ridiculous because it's even weirder when they're doing it outside and outside of a gig. But as ridiculous as it may look, it's very difficult. I can assure you that. Just mushing in the street. Wow. They even do slow mos and stuff. Let's see what's next. Young girl attends her first pogo dancing lesson. All right. What's that about? Come on, come at me. <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> One day she will kick their ass for real. She seems to enjoy it. Alright, that's it for today, folks. Thank you so much for watching this video. Most of the links are available in the description below, so help yourself. And subscribe to this channel for more videos. You probably figure by now that I do enjoy extreme music myself. And by bringing back memories, I meant... Can you feel? But it's another story for another episode. Until then, take care and disrespect your surroundings! See ya!